said I'ma crush it. Call me the golden boy, cause it shine whenever I touch it. Oh, hi. I'm Anthony Walker, your host for Unsung, our region's nonprofit news magazine show. Today, we're coming to you from Shenley Park in beautiful Oakland. Uh, the summer is starting to wind down here in Pittsburgh, so the weather is perfect. So I decided to take this opportunity to come sit in the park and read a book. Today, we take a wild romp through a special collaboration of the Carnegie Science Center based on the classic board game we all grew up on. And we also look at the dog days of summer through the eyes of the Pittsburgh Zoo and Aquarium. First, let's take a look at the news from our region's nonprofits. The Hill House has named Cheryl Hall Russell as its new president and CEO. Hall Russell is the fifth person to lead the agency since its founding. She succeeds Victor Roque, who resigned in June, and like Roque, she will serve as president and CEO of the Hill House Economic Development Corp. She starts her new position September 1st. Hall Russell currently serves as CEO of the Indiana Youth Services Association, which focuses on preventing juvenile delinquency, providing crisis intervention, teen court, family counseling, mentoring shelter, and after-school services and programming. Once on board, Hall Russell will continue the oversight of the Hill House Signature Development Center Hodman Plaza. Currently under construction across Center Avenue from the Hill House, the plaza will house retail space and a 29,500 square foot shop and save grocery store. The Urban Gardener held their first Community Harvest Day and collected 250 pounds of vegetables with help from local residents for the Greater Pittsburgh Community Food Bank. You can get involved and provide healthy food to our neighbors by donating the excess from your gardens. Find out more at urbangardenerpgh.com. The Fred Rogers Company announced that Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood will debut on PBS in September of 2012. The new animated series features the beloved characters of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood and seeks to help the next generation of kids learn and grow in new ways. Keep up on all the developments from the Fred Rogers Company at fredrogers.org. This week, we swung by the Carnegie Science Center on the North Shore to check out the first showing of the life-sized mousetrap show. So the life-size mousetrap is a traveling Rube Goldberg chain reaction machine. Uh, we deal with kinetic energy, energy transfer, momentum, all different sorts of physical properties um, and we make it fun and it is a giant spectacle version of the classic board game mousetrap. Oh, I used to play the game a lot as a kid and I got really interested in uh, spectacle and making things really large and big and living in San Francisco really helps because there's a lot of really awesome art projects. So I decided to make mine the biggest and the baddest and I think I win. I'm a one woman band. I play accordion and drums and sing all at the same time. And I just wrote a CD for the show called How to Defy Gravity with Six Simple Machines. Sort of art carny, it's the modern, we're the modern carnies. They're a dying breed, you know, carnival. You know, people usually get a bad rap sometimes, but uh, not us. We're the artist side. We don't lose the pieces. They're a little too big to lose. We lose a lot of nuts and bolts, um, but we manage to hang on to the pieces, even the ones we don't need. <laughs> well, sometimes we do. We're having issues now with some stuff, but you know, we work it all out. It's a Rube Goldberg machine, and every installation is different. You know, dealing with a 3D space, literally, and uh, uh, you know, we got a whole semi-trailer, 53-foot semi-trailer, 50,000 pounds of stuff. You know, it's just, it's a lot to put together. I got a huge kick out of seeing it run for the first time, seeing the bowling ball go cascading down the steps and the arm thrusting it upwards into the cornucopia and the bathtub and a diver guy who is now a skeleton. Uh, I guess that's what happens if you've been around since 1963. 13 years we finished in about 2005. We've been showing it ever since and we're currently on a six month tour uh, all across the states and we are heading to uh, New York City after this. We've been to Burning Man, we've been to Austin, Texas, Detroit, New York City, we're going to Florida this fall as well. We've smashed a lot of cars before. We did, uh, we made a mouse car once and so we had all the mice all dressed up and rolled that in right underneath uh, 
right underneath the safe and you know it's the junkyard show so it really worked out. Lifesizemousetrap.org and uh, we're there, you're ready to see us and we're on the tour. In this week's video submission section, we take a look at Pittsburgh on Video partner Pittsburgh Zoo and Aquarium. Tune in to pittsburghonvideo.org for all the great videos featuring the zoo's residents. The fourth annual Pittsburgh Park Ing Day will be held on September 16th. It is the one day event where parking spots are transformed throughout the city into temporary public spaces open to everyone. To learn more about this year's event or how you can participate, visit their website at pghparkingday.wordpress.com. The Women and Girls Foundation asks you to encourage a teenage girl in your life to apply for their next GirlGov trip to Harrisburg. The program gives girls the opportunity to shadow a state legislator for the day and speak about what she thinks the priorities should be for the state government. Application deadline is September 15th and can be found at wgfpa.wufoo.com slash login. Westmoreland Clean Ways will coordinate a collection of unwanted or expired medication on October 29th as part of the Drug Enforcement Administration's third National Drug Take Back Day. Medications will be disposed of in an environmentally safe and legal way, keeping them from entering our water resources. Details will be posted to westmorelandcleanways.org. Thanks for watching this episode of Unsung. Be sure to share it with your friends. You can also check out previous episodes or our Unsung Uncut series over at pittsburghonvideo.org. You can also add your comments to this video and let us know how you make the neighborhood a better place. I've been your host, Anthony Walker. I'm gonna go back to my book now. Keep it awesome, Pittsburgh.
So I said, I'ma crush it. Call me the golden boy, cause it shine whenever I touch it. Don't rush it, the flow comes naturally. Actually, the whole hood after me. Masterpiece, I outran a pace car. And these dudes fucking mad, cause they can't even find a day job. I stay hard with or without Viagra. And I said, the flow crush like the force of Niagara. I'm after a major label budget, but since I'm not.